Okay, hey everybody, it's Andrew. I'm here at IFA Berlin 2024, and I'm here visiting with ASUS, yes, and a lot of exciting stuff, especially when it comes to Lunar Lake. So as you know, I recently reviewed the new AMD Ryzen AI-based ZenBook S16, and of course, that was running a brand new processor, the Strix Point. Well, we have the Lunar Lake version here, the 16 inch in the Scandinavian white. Of course, this one is running the Intel Core Ultra Series 2. So we're expecting really good battery life. We're expecting really good efficiency on this one, more so than of course Meteor Lake. And we're looking at about 1.5 kilograms in terms of the weight, and you're looking at 1.1 centimeters. Now, this is covered in that beautiful aluminum design of course that's a combination of ceramic and aluminum and they come up with this aluminum, and i love it in this scandinavian white but of course there's also a 14 inch version which is right here and this is the zumaya gray and we've seen this one before in terms of that color also with the aluminum. And this one will also have the new Lunar Lake. So Series 2, in terms of the Core Ultra, this is going to be lighter. This one's going to come in at 1.2 kilograms, and you're looking at about 1.1 centimeters. So it's pretty thin, it's pretty light, pretty gorgeous, and I can't wait to get it in to check it out. Again, gorgeous 16-inch OLED display on this one, 14-inch OLED display on the S14. The battery life claims that they're making, and as far as efficiency, we're going to see how that's all going to pan out as we get the review units into the studio but so far this has got me really excited about what lunar lake brings to the table we'll have more for you very soon on the zen book s series from asus asus vivo book s announced here and this is running the new intel core ultra series 2 now of course this is the core ultra 7 on this one and you're looking at a very uh, light, thin and light laptop, and of course part of the Vivo book line, so you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, as far as this display is concerned, you're looking at a 14-inch display here. Uh, it's going to be an OLED display, so that means you're going to get the really deep blacks, the super vibrant colors, all that. Again, I like the Vivo book line because it brings a lot of great features, but it won't break the bank. Now, this has a 75 watt hour battery, so I'm expecting good battery life in general with this Series 2 with this core ultra and with this lunar lake we're we're hearing really big battery numbers and of course that means you're going to get the longevity that you're looking for in a really nice uh compact form factor here you also get the rgb backlighting on the keyboard and you also get a stunning design here i think i really like it a lot uh, in this clamshell form factor so really good at 1.3 kilograms you're looking at 1.39 centimeters so this is going to be a very very Good choice for those that want to get a lot of bang for your buck. So hopefully I'll be getting one very soon for a review. And stay tuned, that will be coming down the road. All right, next up here at the Asus booth, IFA 2024, the VivoBook Flip. So this is a 16-inch, two-in-one convertible. Flip obviously indicates that you could put it into the different modes. Now, what we're looking at here is a gorgeous 16-inch 3K 120 hertz OLED display that they call the Lumina display. So you're going to get the really deep blacks, the super vibrant colors that we've come to know with this line of displays that that Asus has been using here. Now, this is going to be 1.8 kilograms and it's going to have a 75 watt hour battery. And you're looking at the Intel Core Ultra Series 2 here, 47 tops, of course, for that NPU that they've been touting and a 360 degree hinge here. Asus Pen 2.0 support. Now you can see here the flip in its uh, tent mode here. So you're going to be able to use it as a tablet in the presentation formats and so forth. So it's going to be good in that regard. Uh, it's a nice uh, design on here and a nice dark gray. And of course, it has a numeric keypad here. So you'll see all that in the keyboard and I think it's going to be great for typing. It's got the chiclet style keys that I like. So I'm um, looking forward to getting this in again with this new Intel Lunar Lake Series 2 and a convertible form factor. What the Series 2 is going to bring to the table is more efficiency, more battery life. And of course, we that's a welcome welcome change indeed. We want to see these run cool, quiet, and run for good longevity. So hopefully we'll get one into the studio and we'll check it out with our full review coming soon. Now, for those that need a more portable version of the Flip, you have the VivoBook Flip 14, and this, of course, is going to 
have a 360 degree hand, a 14 inch OLED display, and you're also looking at 25 hours of claim battery life. And that's what the Intel Core Ultra Series 2 brings to the table here. And Lunar Lake is supposed to be more efficient. Hopefully this will be the case with this. And of course, I won't know until I get a unit in to review, but it's, it has Asus Pen 2.0 support. Again, 360 degree hinge gives you that versatility. But again, for those who don't need quite as much screen real estate as a 16 inch, this one will be the choice to go with for more portability, easy to take with you on the go. So hopefully I'll get one in very soon. This is gonna have a 14 inch full HD, 60 Hertz display on this one. It is an OLED, so you don't get the 120 Hertz, but you do get a really gorgeous OLED display. So looking pretty good. It's got a 1.5 kilograms and you're looking at 1.68 centimeters in terms of the thickness. So thin and light is the name of the game with the Vivo Book Flip 14. We'll get one in very soon. So stay tuned. That will be coming. All right. So for those business users out there, or actually I should say small to medium business, freelancers, um, People that work from home are going to need a good business class laptop. And we're looking at the ExpertBook P5. This has been just announced from Asus and it's the P5405 is specific model here. It's running the new Lunar Lake processor, the Intel Core Ultra Series 2. And that's going to be more efficient, right? They're going to bring it more battery life and they're going to give you more efficiency in terms of cooling. Hopefully it'll stay cool and quiet when you're trying to do your work. So we'll of course get one in. We'll try to test it out. Now, as far as the NPU is concerned, you're going to get 47 tops, but with the CPU and GPU, you're looking at 120 tops and that's going to be really great for doing things like AI and all that stuff. So we're going to test all those features out and they have some really great software on this and it's the AI expert meet. So you can transcribe meetings. So the minutes from the meeting will be through AI transcribed. So you can have it in different languages. You can have it in concise notes. And I think that's going to be great, especially if you have a meeting and you're not sure if somebody actually took notes or something, this will automatically do it in different languages and put it in a way that everybody can really get to that information. I think that's going to be great for the person working from home or they're freelancing or they're a small to medium business that can roll these out. This is going to be a great option. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting one in. This is going to be 144 hertz display, IPS display, 2K, 2.5K resolution on this, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. So I think there's got a lot to offer here. It's going to go up against things like the, the Lenovo ThinkPad. It's going to go against the HP Elite book. It's going to go against the Dell Attitude. So this is going to do a really good job in terms of competing, I think. And they've got communication keys on the keyboard. That's going to be great for those that are doing a lot of conferencing and so forth. You're going to want to have a mute button. You want to have all those at your fingertips. You're going to be able to do that. Again, we're going to hopefully get one in. All right. So we, we just saw the expert book P5. So that's going to be a really high or end model for the work from home person or the small to medium business, those type of people. But you want something a little bit more affordable. You can roll out in your fleet or whatever. Uh, these are the ones you can look at. So this is a 14 inch and this is a 15 inch design here. They're 16 to nine aspect ratio. So you don't get the black bars on the top and the bottom when you're consuming media for those wondering, but uh, these are gonna be more affordable. These are not, these are plastic. So there are higher quality plastic, but they're not gonna be as uh, higher premium as you would get on the P5 but these certainly bring a lot of value to the table. They're very well made and you're going to get the same kind of kind of a features that you're going to get on the P5 except at a more affordable rate. Now they have the AI Expert Meet which is of course a great free software that they're including that takes advantage of AI in terms of meetings. It'll transcribe minutes, it'll translate the minutes to different languages and so forth. So a whole host of features and at no additional cost. So that's going to be a great value for those that need to add it to their small to medium business and this certainly will get that as well. So I think that's going to be a great uh, great boon for those that want to have use AI incorporated into their small to medium business and work from home and stuff like that. Now the ports are going to be good here. They have ethernet ports on these. Um, they've got really nice keyboards, a chiclet style key. So you're going to be able to get work done. And again, at a more affordable rate, you can buy these in bulk. You can buy them and get maybe discounts, who knows from Asus. But as far as these are concerned, they're coming very soon. This is going to have a starting price, I think 899 euros in the US. I'm guessing around a thousand dollars, maybe less who knows and then it could be 899 here i don't know and then of course it goes up a little bit with the 15 inch but i think overall you're looking at a great value here from 
the expert book line from ASA. So we'll hopefully get them in, we'll check them out, and we'll have more to say on this very soon. Next up is a Nook from ASA, so really cool mini PC that's going to be out later this year. I don't have any pricing or availability, but it's coming later down the road. And you're looking at the NUC 14 Pro AI. And there's a couple of unique features here. Not only is this running the new Lunar Lake processor, the Core Ultra Series 2, so you're going to get a lot of power out of this. It's going to run quiet and cool, of course. But you also get some other interesting features. You get Thunderbolt ports. You get a co-pilot key on there, right? Bu a button right there you can press to bring up the co-pilot got a fingerprint scanner on the top and you get a lot of uh easy portability with this and you can put it pretty much anywhere in a bookcase or in a shelf or in your desk it doesn't take up a lot of space so there's a lot of interest i think in the nooks and in the mini pc market and i think this can bring a lot to the table so you can have not only the performance out of it you're going to have the security and reliability that you're going to get because it does have that fingerprint scanner on the top it does have the copilot plus key to do kind of ai stuff and so forth so it's going to be really good for that i hope to get one down the road and we'll be able to bring you a review so stay tuned that is coming later this year so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. And don't forget to check out my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.